All right, so today we got this thing, this hull all uh, ready and prepped. Uh, masked off everywhere where I'm not painting. Uh, one thing you want to do when you're doing this, you want to look down the hull and make sure you don't have any uh, shiny spots. Because if, if you don't, then the primer won't stick. Uh, it looks like I got a little bit of sanding right there to do. But other than that, she's pretty much ready. I just gotta wipe it down and slap some primer on. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, for primer, I'm gonna be using this epoxy primer I've had sitting around here for a bit. Um, what you're gonna wanna mix to that is two to one. And I think I'm gonna go with three, three, three. Well, three, three mix that up and then uh, put it in my gun go spray that on there um, and then this stuff takes about a half hour to dry and then you can spray the uh, the white or your uh, color right onto it so this stuff's pretty nice to work with so I'm gonna mix up the additive and uh, the primer and Get it mixed up and put it in the gun. Spray some on. Okay, so there's two coats of primer. Um, just got a little, like, one little drip there, not too bad. Um, for the most part, I don't think I got much of uh, anything in the paint. There is lots of stuff getting on there, but it just brushes off. So what I've been doing in between my coats is blowing off all the shit from the trees because these trees are fucking with it. But for the most part, it's turning out pretty nice. Um, I'm about to put, uh, I just got to wait a couple more minutes and then I can put my, uh, my uh, color coat on, which I'm going with white. Uh, it was white to begin with, so I figured I might as well just go white again. Um, so, yeah, I'd film, I was going to film some of uh, the painting, but it's pretty windy out, so I don't want to get the paint all over my phone. So, I'll uh, sp splat a coat of paint on this thing, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright, so... I'm using epoxy paint as well. Um, it's just the stuff at the local paint store. It's six six to one to one. So again, on your cup here, you'll go to the six to one to one uh, measuring column. And I'm gonna do three, three, three again. Cause that seems to be working pretty decent in my gun. Um, so yeah, uh, do that, or maybe we'll do four, four to four to four. That looks like a little bit better. Looks like closer to this. Um, so yeah, we'll mix that up. Um, it's a three part, this one. So you've got uh, activator and single stage hardener to go in with it. Uh, and then the paint, so it's the paint, that's, uh, the part six, and then, what is it? So then it's, uh, one part hardener and then one part activator. So I'm gonna mix this up and put it in my gun. Again, you want to wear your respirator. Stuff's pretty, pretty smelly. Uh, so I'll mix this up, and then I'll show you what the hull looks like with the color on it. Uh, well, this is what color of white I went with. Very bright white. The brightest white that they had. So I'm going to mix it up and get it going. Alright, so I got 
about four coats on there uh, plus like four coats of primer as well uh, unfortunately I did do got a few little pieces of dirt in it but that's the joys of painting outside no one's ever really gonna see the bottom anyways so it's uh, still a little wet but probably by tomorrow morning it'll be nice and dry um, there you can see the shine now nice and shiny um, covered up my patch pretty good well not my patch just my my bondo work pretty good it's a little lumpy there but who the hell cares it's better than it was so this hull just needs to dry up a bit more and it's ready to get a motor stuffed in it so if you like this video subscribe give it a thumbs up have a good day